Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra November 3, 2022. With current transits, the day feels constructive but enjoyable. You can have a more vital interest in getting away from it all or changing up your routines, but you're also practical enough to learn something useful. You're focused on long-range visions, ideals, and goals. There is good energy with you for applying yourself to learning and studying, and a deliberate pace suits the day's strengths. With a Mars Vesta aspect, a slow but steady approach yields results. Expressing your dedication or devotion through your actions can be much appreciated. Patience can help you achieve your goals. It's possible you renew an interest in a subject or learning path. You do know how to go with the flow. You tend to intellectualize everything due to your tremendously curious nature. Right now, our great benefic, Jupiter, is spinning amongst the shells and the sandy sea floors of Pisces in a retrograde phase. This will affect the entire human collective in a marvelous way, helping people review, reflect, and reassess their cosmic alignment. Reconnecting with people from the past, such as exes or old lovers, will come more easily now as the stars are whispering forth on a deeply spiritual level. This reconnection could be for rekindling a rapport or for letting it go once and for all. What can you look forward to? You have the opportunity to move forward in your career path during the first quarter moon in Aquarius. But you need to let go of old pursuits, beliefs, or even places that may hold you back from enjoying a new opportunity. Adventure awaits, but it might lead to unexpected places or a new type of belief system that gives you something new to consider in your professional journey. Say, yes, to whatever comes up, as it could give you a greater perspective of the type of professional that you want to be. Thanks to the moon's departure from your financial sector yesterday, your financial instincts and imagination are fueled and you are more emotionally and intuitively engaged. This first visit since Pluto's direct turn has been a chance to not just look to the future but with confidence, but with time to take things slowly before the Sun, Venus, and Mercury return next month. You can have a hard time paying attention to the main message sometimes, and now could be one of those times. There is much excitement on the planet these days many people want to do good to counteract the great pain we all felt over the past year. Your job is to do good for yourself your body, your mind, your home. Concentrate on yourself, and you will be in a better position to join in with your peers on the planet and work for the greater good of our societies. Done any traveling lately? If not, this is an excellent day to set some goals and make plans. It doesn't have to be an ocean journey, either, to bring some of the expansion your soul craves. As long as the destination is one that's new to you, you're bound to find adventure. Try a different takeout restaurant for lunch, if this is a workday, and take a drive later. When it does come to seeing more of the world, a solid plan is vital. If you don't currently have one, sit down and make up one. Having the moon in an adventurous part of your chart in the middle of the working week should be something that would be easy to ignore. Instead, as the moon aligns with Saturn for the first time since his direct turn here 10 days ago, embracing life in all its aspects is something that needs to be taken seriously. With the moon returning to focus more on Jupiter's first full week in your career sector tomorrow, today's adventurous lunar vibes are key to finding the right work, life balance or at least they are giving you something to work towards. With Venus, the planet of love now just two weeks away from joining Pluto in your relationship sector, this puts even more importance on the moon's visit over the weekend. While leaving you more emotionally engaged, this first visit since Pluto's direct turn has been a chance to look to the future and with the planet of change and revolution leaving in March, in a way that is a lot more proactive than in the past. Our eyes in the sky. Today brings many elements of surprise as the Scorpio sun squares off with the Aquarius moon. This can cause some upheaval on numerous levels, especially in relationships. The theme of the day centers around partnerships and those who mirror us on a soul level. The Scorpio influence commands us to dive deep into our psychological wounds, 
and the second quarter moon washing through Aquarius helps purge them. There is a feeling of being supported on an emotional level, despite how vulnerable the healing process makes us feel. You are not alone, even if it feels at times like you're the only one in the room. Saturn in authoritarian Aquarius doesn't let up on you mentally. There could be many challenges that require careful analysis. In fact, you could be way too hard on yourself now, because the cosmos encourages you to weigh every situation, making it tough to make any decisions. Remember that you know what's best for you. Especially as the magnetic sun-moon square kicks up the dust and sends you in a totally different direction. Be prepared for some unexpected news that could have you jumping into new experiences almost instantly. In a case of perfect timing, the moon not only returns for its first visit to your relationship sector since Jupiter retrograde back in for a rare double dip visit but straight into a friendly aspect to Mercury, just days after the planet of communications returned to your communication sector. Mercury has joined the Sun and Venus, who have already begun a mission to get the communication lines open and especially on the relationship front. This is the start of a partnership between the communication and relationship gods that will deepen over the coming days and weeks. The moon not only returns for its first visit to your relationship sector since Jupiter's return last week but straight into a friendly aspect to Mercury, just days after the planets return to your communication sector. This is just a taste of things to come, with some defining days and weeks coming up on the communication and relationship fronts. In the morning, the moon squares off with Venus, making it difficult to negotiate our needs and desires. On the one hand, we're inclined to group settings now. Under the Aquarius moon, we benefit from drama-free experiences with friends who stretch our minds but don't force us too far into emotional territory. On the other hand, Venus in Scorpio pitches us into the deep end of the relational pool, where intimacy is a given. We may struggle between the urge to keep things light and the compulsion to steamroll another's boundaries. Reconciling these two extremes can get a bit dicey. Yet, it may also make us aware that certain relationships aren't as simple and straightforward as we initially presumed them to be. Following this, the moon sextiles Chiron in Aries, smoothing over some of the tension prompted by the moon-venus square. We may now realize that challenges we face with friends, family members, or partners are indicative of history repeating. We are encouraged to retrace old footsteps and to course-correct regrettable past behaviors. In this way, uncomfortable moments serve as opportunities for healing.